I made a video on what is metric tensor. You should check that video. Now in this video, I found the simple way to derive the Schwarzschild metric and even the Ressner Nordstrom metric, which is more complex by the tensor analysis. But I won't be using that. I will be using the simple equation for calculating the energy in electric field. So we first discussed that what is a black hole metric. A black hole metric is a metric that represents that how a gravitational source is affecting space time. So there are four types of black hole metrics categorized by the angular momentum J and the charge Q. A gravitational source with no Q or J is described by a Schwarzschild metric and a charged gravitational source is described by a Ressner Nordstrom metric. A rotating gravitational source is described by the Kerr metric and a gravitational source which is both charged and rotating is described by the Kerr Newman metric. So in this first part I will be deriving the Schwarzschild metric and the Ressner Nordstrom metric with no tensor analysis only using simple equations. Now we start with the Schwarzschild metric. So the main underlying principle of relativity is that that no object with positive mass can exceed the universal speed limit that is the speed of light. But we know that a uh, object when freely left in the influence of a gravitational field it orbits the field by the escape velocity which is defined by this equation now we can derive this time dilation equation by the special relativity so it says that as the V approaches C, the time becomes infinite. So, C. When the object is freely suspended, it will move in the orbit. But if the object is held by an uh, external force, the space time is all also then curved but it not rotates but it doesn't matter whether it is sus whether it is hold by an external force or not so we will assume that a test particle is suspended to orbit around a gravitational field now we can substitute the value of v which is the escape velocity in our time dilation equation so in the metric equation we have a rule that the ds squared which is the universal distance should be independent of observer so we should transform our equation to this Schwarzschild metric is better described in polar coordinates so we use r instead of x now we can finally write our metric as this equation this equation is known as the Schwarzschild metric in polar coordinates and this is the metric tensor so in the Schwarzschild solution we have assumed that the charge is zero but what happens when the electric field is non-zero so 
electric field has some energy and that energy contributes to some mass and that mass causes more gravitational curvature so in this derivation i will use the simple equation for finding energy density for an electric field so here is our simple equation so here the latin capital e stands for the electric field and the non italic capital e stands for the energy so the electric field will be due to a uniformly charged sphere of charge q now the substituting the value of e in our equation we get this now we know that an energy density is the rate of energy per unit volume so we are taking the volume element from the horizon for the sphere now we can write the equation for the small volume as this so we can set our differential as this now integrating both sides gives us the energy due to a electric field and let's set this energy to be equal to small mc square here the small m is the mass due to the energy of the electric field so solving for mass gives up this now we know that the schwarzschild solution depends on the total mass so instead of writing only capital m we add the small m also to add the results of the more gravitational field now we can substitute the value of small m derived earlier and now we get this equation so for simplicity we could replace the independent term by this so our resner nordstrom metric is derived and it is this so i think this is the simplest formulation of the resner nordstrom metric however it is more correctly derived by tensor calculus but it is more complex so i have derived this two solution in the first part and in the second part i will derive the kerr and the kerr newman metric in which we assume that the black hole is rotating thanks for watching